Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are back with another My Team series. Looks like, well, looks like we have a very interesting team we're up against. I believe that's Kelly Olenek, Tristan Thompson, Tayshawn Prince, Evan Fournier, and Nedovich. So they do have a pretty good shooting backcourt. Their front line is not super impressive, but they have a lot of hustle guys that can really do damage on the offensive boards, you know, on the glass. But, uh, yeah, they'll be playing as the Timberwolves, and I'll be using the Military Knight Toronto jersey. Representing. So, anyhow... We'll see what we can do here. So they do give me that open look. Well, semi-open look. I do botch that open three, but that is okay. So Nedovich does want to take that mid-range. Right from the get-go. I'm not sure what he is... Uh, I'm not sure what Roy is actually looking at here. Okay, never mind. He's looking at my, my, uh, my role players. But aside from that, I, I'm not sure what else he can look at. So we'll see how we can expose. Ooh, that's a bad pass. That's a bad pass. All right, that was way too easy for Kelly. As much as I love him, but uh, way too easy. Way too easy. We'll try again, and we missed again. Luckily, no was there to clean up the glass with an and one dunk, two hander. It's just funny how Duncan's wearing a Toronto Raptors jersey, but uh, it's unfortunately the best jersey I have, so we'll, we'll stick with that for now. If you've noticed here, I did actually end up selling Richard Jefferson, and I swapped him out with uh, Rodney Hood, just to keep things more interesting, just to keep the series more interesting in case you guys want to know what Rodney Hood can do as a silver player. Salary wise, I think I'm still paying 550 VC per game. Nice nice step back jumper. So Roy is playing like I would expect him to play. Trying to create a lot of open looks from beyond the arc, uh, inside out. Good hustle. Good hustle. Stay on him. Stay on him. A little bit too late there, but he does end up nailing that two pointer. Very late contest, and unfortunately, I don't know what happened to Stockton there. He over dribbled a little bit, got trapped, and coughed the ball. Giving away two free points, and I'm not too happy about the start already. So this team is actually called the Seattle Savages. And once again, he pokes the ball away from him. Luckily, we're able to recover. Should have passed to Joe Johnson there, but uh, Roberson does miss again. I'll see if Rodney Hood's better than Roberson, but... It'll probably take me a couple more games for me to decide what's going on there. And again, another easy layup. So it looks like they're playing like the Rockets, the Houston Rockets in real life. They're going to shoot a lot of threes and they're going to basically go in for layups and dunks. They're not going to do too many long twos, presumably at least. unless they, Maybe unless he's wide open or something like that. But He does end up missing that jump shot, but... Um, we have to get it back. We are down three still. But I'm really surprised that Nedovic is the starting point for this team, for the Savages. Tayshaun Prince looks like he is going to be playing this stretch four position. And what that means is I should really just back him off, make him shoot long twos all day. Because Tim Duncan simply can't guard him from there at least. Nice dish off, I believe, from... Johnson, I think. Oh, you should never spin move when someone's pressing you. That's a turnover right there. Great defense on 
uh, for John Lucas uh, for stopping Nemanja Nedovic. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, though. But another open two. He misses again, luckily. So let's see what uh, Mr. Hood can do. Looks like getting trapped here. I meant to pass that to Noah, but uh, he does end up taking the ball from me right again. So he went for the dunk, but luckily uh, Caldwell Pope misses. Or is that actually, no, that's Tristan Thompson. I lied. Another Canadian. They actually have a Canadian big man duo in Kelly Olenek and Tristan Thompson. But I don't think Thompson can shoot in this game. Free throws at least, so. I'm not sure why he's pausing the game when he lets a shot off. Is that some sort of like voodoo trick or something? Like, is that like a glitch or cheese that we don't know of? I, I really don't know. You guys, you guys let me know in the comments section below. If anyone's done this to you in quick matches or... Um, yeah, he does showboat a little bit as well. Crossing out John Stockton. It was a good crossover move. Spin, reverse, well, it's a spin move and then double cross over again, so, or single crossover more like, so, that is okay. Ooh, that's a rush shot. We got lucky on that one. That was very rushed. But the game is still close. We can still win this despite the showboating. Good pick off by Gasol. I'm gonna go inside, see what he can do, and they just give us an open dunk, so we'll take it. I believe that's Perry Jones, actually. So we have tied things up, and again, very dangerous to do spin moves in this game. If it's not timed properly, you could very well end up losing the game. Good block, though. Very good block. Good time. And Olenek does take it for the two. I should really pound it inside. I mean, Thompson and Olenek are very, very... Well, I wouldn't say undersized, but they're definitely not juggernauts. They're not juggernaut post defenders by any means. So he does try to cram, uh, jam the pick and roll here. But we do end up punishing it with the roller of Noah going in for the and one layup. All right, so we're going to run another pick and roll here, although he got lost completely. I don't know what kind of defense that is. He's left me wide open for a three. The pick was set completely off. However, he mistimed his run across the pick, I suppose. He wanted to cheat the pick. And again, I think he went for the unnecessary crossover and or spin moves that he was planning to do for giving me that easy layup right there so all right Rodney Hood let's get back to Timmy D good move good fake one step one step and up for that easy layup looks like uh, I gave up that lane for Caldwell Pope here but they're probably gonna jam the middle again so we're gonna bring it back out We'll call for another pick and roll with Timmy D. Give Joe Johnson. The shot was not there. He recovered very good. But nice handoff pass to Gasol for the finish. Right there. So I'm starting to play him a little bit more tight because he... It seems like Royal likes to gamble a lot with his dribbles. He likes to spin or double crossover. He just, I feel like he just over dribbles a little too much sometimes, but when it works, it works wonders. When it doesn't, it's pretty much a turnover, and it's a little bit more riskier as well. For me, I try not to dribble too much. Uh, more off-ball movement, more pick and rolls. That's a very bad pass, by the way. Never do cross-court passes like that. It's very dangerous. Perry Jones does not make the three. I thought it was a decent look, though. Yeah. He had me beat on that play, actually. So, all right, we're gonna do a crossover. Ooh, could have been a block, could have been a foul there, but can't complain. And that's what. Ooh, should have went up there. I think I should have went up there on that on that play. Yeah, should have went up there. But that's okay. Offensively, uh, the rhythm is a lot better. The flow is a lot better for me. 
I'm getting into paint more, more off ball movement. I've really settled down, uh, tried to deny any type of entry passes like that. Um, try not to force anything. Looks like he's wants to extend um, a little bit too much here. We'll take it. And Roberson with the standstill hold. Knocks down that three. Brilliant move. So we're up seven going in to the fourth quarter. I'm feeling pretty good about myself at this point. Alright, so that's a little bit too far. I don't like that positioning. I'm not going to be able to get that shot off here. Caldwell-Pope does end up missing, but Noah there saves the day with another offensive board. It looks like he's overextending just a little bit there as well. I do, the, I do draw the foul on the ground, though. Alright, so. Alright, so that's like three guys jumping at me. I do get blocked, though. Another good finish with Noah. That's why I will not be selling Noah. He's pretty much the anchor of my defense, along with Tim Duncan. He's also pretty athletic for his size. He can pretty much switch on pick and rolls momentarily, at least. So that's a bailout foul. I think uh, would have been an easy block there, but we'll take it. All right. So with John Lucas, I do end up blowing by that guy, and uh, with a, another handoff pass and an easy layup. So once again, inside the paint, I feel pretty good already. So we do contest that layup, but again, he got a little bit too deep early. Ooh, Joe Johnson, the wraparound layup. I didn't know he had it in him. Not at all. Turning back, father time. He should have went out on that play, though. He should have went out on that play. He had the numbers. It was a two-on-two -two situation. He had that. Alright, so we have momentum, we have the lead. Now it's time to hold the lead and win the game. So I'm ooh. Wow, that's a 50-50 ball. It looks like Roy wants an instant replay on that as well. I can't really see anything from there. What do we do? Yeah, that's a really bad angle. I still say it's a 50-50 ball. It's a very bad angle. Ooh, no one's rolling. Alright, give it to Gasol. Just waiting there. Um, everybody's pretty much looking at Tim Duncan. Everybody was expecting me to dump it off to Tim. So you, you always got to give them... A you always got to throw them some curveballs from time to time. Otherwise, get blocked repetitively like me. So He does force a three, which does end up going in. But I'm not too concerned at this point. I mean, he didn't break me down or anything. And another long three once again. Once I find a ball handler, I can pretty much punish them. And I just whip, rip through three guys. And of course, Rodney Hood misses the open layup. And throws it out of bounds. Someone fix that animation cheese. Please. There's no need for me to shoot it. We're just going to hold the ball, win the game. Simple as that. All right. So that's a wrap. We do take the win. By, let's see, 10. I think we beat them by 17, if my math is not mistaken. So Joe Johnson is the player of the game with 15 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. Noah, 14 and 6. Not too bad. John Stockton shooting 100% from 3. 2 for 2. It's a pretty balanced game. I didn't play Henry Sims or Ian Clark, which I normally don't anyways. But they're there in case I need to change up the matchup. Fournier got 16, though. Shooting 5 for 13. That's the only guy we pretty much stopped. We, we didn't end up stopping anybody. But I think rebounds was the difference of this game. But that pretty much uh, wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you guys next time.